10 cool hamster facts. Pet hamsters were just recently domesticated in the 1930s, and therefore they have nearly identical traits to wild hamsters. Learning how hamsters survive in their natural environment will help you be a better pet owner. Learn all about animals with me on Animal Science TV. Fact 10, hoarders and pouches. In Syria, the first hamsters were discovered in 1797, and they were later named after the German word hamstern, which translates to hoarder. This makes sense because in the wild, hamsters spend most of their energy collecting as much food as possible. They even have cheek pouches that can be stuffed all the way back to their hips. They often have to travel many, many miles to find food, and their cheek pouches act as biological backpacks. So if you see your pet hamster stuffing a ton of seeds into its mouth, it doesn't mean it's on a wild food binge. Your hamster is just moving food to a hidden location in the den. It's not being a fat ass. 9. Ever-growing teeth. Hamsters, like all rodents, have front teeth that grow and grow forever. This trait evolved because in the wild, rodents generally relied upon very hard food sources. They eat things with shells, and cracking the shell can easily crack their small incisor teeth too. In nature, having permanently broken teeth often leads to death by starvation. Rodents don't know how to operate a nutcracker. Luckily for the hamster, if it breaks a tooth, it only has to wait about a month for the tooth to grow back. Seeds and nuts have a good shelf life, unlike the other things that they eat, uh, such as insects, fruits, and fresh veggies. As a pet owner, you need to be aware of this fact, because it's possible for a hamster's teeth to grow so long that at first they seal the mouth shut, and then they grow even longer and start to puncture the brain. To avoid this problem, every domestic hamster needs a chew toy to keep their teeth at a healthy length. 8. Burrows Hamsters are native to extreme environments like northern Russia and the deserts of the Middle East. Daily temperatures can fluctuate a lot here. Today, the high in Syria is 97 degrees Fahrenheit and the low is 60. So wild hamsters have evolved to live underground where surface temperatures can't affect them quite so much. These burrows also help hamsters hide from most predators. Burrows even have separate chambers for their babies, food storage, sleeping quarters, and a toilet area. These burrows have multiple exits so a hamster can run out the back door if something like a snake invades. They naturally want to build multiple rooms in their home, and this is why, as a pet, they require a much larger and more complex enclosure than their small body size might suggest. 7. Foraging and Speed In the wild, hamsters are easy prey, so they are mostly nocturnal. Even under the cover of darkness, a hamster needs to move as fast as possible to stay safe. They run up to 6 miles per hour and are known to forage up to 5 miles away in a single night. Because hamsters are natural track athletes, as a pet, they will always need something like a running wheel to stay healthy. If a hamster were human-sized, they would need to burn about 10,000 calories per day to stay healthy. 6. Scent Glands To find their way home when their pouches are full, a hamster can either get home by using spatial memory or by leaving a scent trail. Hamsters have two scent glands on their underside. They will use these mostly to mark objects when they're out foraging and leave a scent trail of breadcrumbs to find their way home, but they mostly use these scent glands to mark their territory. Hamsters feel comfortable when they're surrounded by their own scent, which is a little bit musky. 
So it is natural for your hamster's cage to smell a little bit. And while you're cleaning, you should only clean part of the cage in a single day to make sure your hamster still feels safe. Five, eyesight and predation. You might think hamsters would have good night vision so they could see and avoid potential predators like hawks, foxes, and lizards, but they do not. Hamsters spend so much time underground that they rely more upon their sense of touch from their whiskers and little itty bitty hands to sense incoming land predators coming. Hamsters also can use their noses to smell if something's coming to invade their den. Wild hamsters are basically sitting ducks when it comes to an attack from the air. Their only defense is their tiny size, which allows them to hide in nooks and crannies. As a pet owner, you need to be aware that your hamster can only see about two inches in front of its schnoz, so it can't judge how high up it is. You shouldn't let your hamster run around on a table because it might fall or even jump on purpose if you scare it. Hamsters have very fragile bones and even a two foot fall could be fatal for them. Four, babies in the mouth. Female hamsters with a litter of babies have two weird ways that they can abandon ship when running out of the back door. They can stuff the babies in their pouches if the babies are small enough and run away to build a new nest. What a hero! But she can also be a total murderer. If the female hamster doesn't think there's ample food to build a new home, if food is scarce, for example, because it's winter, she'll actually eat her own babies before she runs away. The strategy here is that it's better I eat the meal than that snake. I can always make more babies. And in a normal situation, the mother also might eat just a few of her babies that are growing slowly, or if her litter size is larger than her number of milk producing teats. It only takes about three weeks for a hamster to have a new litter, so babies are just not as valuable or as hard to make as human babies are. Three, common species. Although there are over 25 species of hamsters, three types make up the vast majority of pet hamsters. Please leave a comment. Do you have a hamster? What's your favorite thing about hamsters? I actually got a hamster one time because I knew it was easier to have a hamster sneak past the landlord's no pet policy. The common pet hamsters are number one, the Syrian or teddy bear hamster, which is quite large at seven inches long, and it's the most docile and least likely to bite you. Two, the Chinese hamster, which is the most interactive and requires a lot of attention to be happy. It is also the only pet hamster with a mouse-like tail. And three, dwarf hamsters. These little guys are the most active and fun to watch. They also have the shortest lifespan at only one and a half to three years long. Roborovskis are the hardest to tame, but other dwarves like the winter white are quite social. Dwarf hamsters are only three inches long. I had one of these dwarf hamsters and it was truly an escape artist. The best way to choose the right hamster for you is to get more information from thehamstercare.com. It's the best resource on the internet about how to properly care for your hamster, find a suitable and safe cage, bedding, food, toys, everything you need to make sure your hamster lives the best life possible. Two ever-growing nails. Just like us humans, hamsters have ever-growing nails. In nature, hamsters use these for burrowing and they're quite strong nails, more like claws. They also use them for grip and the nails get ground down at a good rate while running around on the ground 
outside. A common mistake hamster owners make is to only put soft bedding in the enclosure, but hamsters really only need soft bedding in their bedroom. If you don't put some rough rocks in the cage, your hamster's nails might overgrow, causing them to get stuck on their running wheel or on the cage bars, potentially breaking a limb. If you don't give your hamster a natural way to grind down their nails, you're going to have to clip them. Which is a pretty difficult task. It will stress you and your hamster out. And one, torpor and hibernation. When humans get too cold, they start shivering to warm up. Hamsters, on the other hand, go into something like a coma and they get cold to the touch. This is called torpor. Many hamster owners think their hamster's dead when this happens. Torpor is like a short-term hibernation and can last from a few hours to a few days. Please make sure your hamster is in an environment above 60 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent this from happening. If you don't warm up your hamster when it's in torpor, it may never ever wake up again. The hamster is unconsciously waiting for its environment to improve. Hamsters can also go into torpor from a shocking event like a fall. Torpor in nature is a strategy to wait for temperatures to warm up so the hamster doesn't have to waste energy to reach its normal warm-blooded temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. During torpor, the heart also slows down to about 3% normal operational speed, from their normal 300 beats per minute to only 10 beats per minute. Hamsters have a super low battery mode. Next on Animal Science TV, we will cover vestigial structures. Today, dolphins still have teeny remnants of their long lost legs because they share a common ancestor with cows. For more animal fact videos, check out this playlist up here. I also do a 101 science education video series where we cover things like the extinction of the dinosaurs. Thank you for watching Animal Science TV.